Why bug in versus bug out? Well, that's a big question that probably a lot of you are asking. And it's pretty simple. Most of society, they're not gonna be ready to go bug out and live way out there in the wilderness. It takes a certain mindset, tenacity, skill set, and endurance to live out in the wild for an extended period of time, even if you do have caches and some supplies and gear to do it with. Bugging in, most of society, they have a home. You'll have general supplies there. Physically, you'll feel safe at your home, as well as mentally. It's psychologically a better starting point. And that way, you have all your things you need and you decide to bug in at home and you can start making your plan. While you're bugged in, you start working on your defenses and your plans to stay there for as long as you're gonna to have to. And when the time comes, everyone's situation is gonna be different. For you to get out of Dodge, you'll be ready. Doesn't mean you don't need to have a good bug out escape plan. You need to be ready for when that time hits. Your supplies need to be ready to go. Everybody that's with you, your loved ones, your friends that are gonna be with you, everyone needs to know the plan, but there's a lot of complications with bugging out. You have to have routes planned. You need to know where you're going. Is where you're going set up and established? How many days is it gonna to take to get to that place? Do you have the fuel? What is your mode of transportation? You know, these are all things that, you know, you need to have figured out, hopefully beforehand, so that when you're bugged in and it's time to go, that's already set and you just pick up your stuff, getting whatever you're going to get to your bug out location and you get everyone accounted for, gear and all, and you just go. Along with bugging out, there's a lot of things to consider. You may have a full kit, bug out bag, weapons, all the things you need to get out at Dodge for three, four, five days. But what about those that are with you? Your loved ones, your wife, your girlfriend, your kids. What do they have? Do they each have their own bag? Do they know what to grab? There's a lot of planning that goes into bugging out. And when you bug in, you can have all your things set up already. No matter what size domicile you're in, you can figure out amazing out of the box ways to be ready from shelving, closet space, your basement, you can get organized. You can have stuff to sit on for a good while. Because when you head out there, once you run out of the supplies you brought with you, what are you gonna do then? Hunting for food is not as easy as it seems, even if you do have a rifle or a bow, you know? So bugging in is a better ideal solution for most people. Just gotta make sure how do you protect your items that are in your home? How do you protect yourself? and everybody needs to know and understand exactly what you're doing there. While you're bugging in, you can have your water sources all figured out. You know, you can store water, whether you're collecting rain or your other systems in 55 gallon drums, or you're storing water on the shelf with good shelf life. Same thing with food. There's all kinds of ready to eat meals, dehydrated meals, freeze dried meals, canned goods, different things like that. And you need to have a plan for all this stuff because you need to rotate it depending on its shelf life, when you're gonna eat it. Perishables are gonna go quick. What happens when civil unrest going on and all the stores are being looted, there's a shortage of fuel supplies, the trucks aren't coming into town anymore. Now you're gonna have to really ration out what you have and you're gonna need to have a plan for it for everyone that's with you. Ammunition, the list go on and on about bugging in and things you need to take care of. Survival, we always talk about the core four shelter, fire, water, and food. And in your home, you already have your shelter. It's the other things you really gotta start looking after. And never forget your medical, you know, prescription drugs, those things, you know, they're all things that you need to think about when you're bugging in. Do you have enough medicine for everyone in your home that has a prescription drug or just normal pain meds and things like that? Communications, what's your source of energy? Do you have solar panels for, to, to keep going? Do you have a generator? Uh, how are you going to keep energizing the items you have to get news, for instance, like CBs, ham radio, but just having a, a good emergency radio on hand, one that either has a crank system or recharges the battery or a solar generator, so you can get some kind of news to what's going on in the world. That's also going to be very critical for you from bugging in to heading out and bugging out of your situation. We're living in uncertain times. We have pandemics, natural disasters, civil unrest, and even war. And you need to be ready for this. I'm EJ Snyder, extreme survivalist, 25-year Army combat vet. I'm bringing you my years of knowledge and experience to help you in this situation. Yeah, sure, you probably see me out there on Naked Afraid, Dual Survival, and First Man Out. But I'm more than just a wilderness survivalist. I'm a total survivalist. 
And that doesn't mean just being out there in the wilderness. That means here at home too. And we've put together the ultimate bug in and home defense guide. In this guide is critical information that can save you and your loved one's life. In this guide, things included are a get home bag, how to set your vehicle up to get yourself home. And when you get home, how to set that up for defense to protect your loved ones, all your supplies, and things you really need when trouble comes knocking on your door. This guide is designed for everyone, no matter what your background or your circumstances, whether you're living in the city or in a rural area, whatever your budget is, this is the framework for you to defend your home and be prepared for anything. Why are you just sitting there on the couch? You gotta start planning for the ultimate Bugging and home defense! Thing's not gonna fix itself, you little maggot! Get up off your butt! Go hit that button down there and get yours today!